This is the pool bet puzzle. <laughs> Paul's found himself a mark, and after shooting a few friendly games, he suggests playing for money. That hurts. The mark eagerly agrees. Good man. Is Paul about to be hustled? No chance. Paul sinks the nine ball straight from the break, which is an instant win. The mark's cash goes straight into Paul's pocket. All right, you want to? Yeah. It's lucky, right? It's a lucky break. You want to play again or try something different? Uh, hey, up to you, man. I'm Let's try something so. different. Ever the fair sportsman, Paul offers the mark a chance to win his money back and lines up a trick shot. That's my position. Yeah. The nine ball is there. One ball here, I gotta sink it in that pocket. Then I gotta sink the nine all in one shot without touching any of these balls. What do you think? So Paul reckons he can hit one shot with the cue ball, potting the yellow in the middle pocket, then the nine ball in the corner without hitting any of the other balls. You wanna do 100? Confident that Paul won't make this impossible looking shot, the mark slaps down $100, which Paul covers. This is as easy as peeling a banana. 100 to make the shot. All right. <laughs> All right, that was 100 bucks, right? Paul smacks the yellow into the center pocket with the cue ball, which then bounces off two cushions. He uses his cue as a guide for the white, so it rolls the length of the table and knocks the nine ball into the corner pocket. Paul takes his hundred dollars. So you will give you a chance to win. Paul offers the mark one more chance to win some money back and sets up another challenge. I'll tell you what, I'm feeling bad for you. Make it for 20. <laughs> the guy tries to bet another hundred dollars, but in a rare moment of kindness, Paul only takes 20. Clap them together. Like that. The two has to start on top of the 20s. You have to pot the green, but you're not allowed to touch the blue. You're not allowed to touch any of the cushions, and you're not allowed to jump the ball so it can't leave the surface of the table. And that's it. How do you pot the six? So to win, Paul must use the cue ball to pot the green, but he can't jump or hit the blue, which is on the money, or bounce off a cushion. Yeah. Well, there's 40 on there, I'll put another 40. Another 40 on top. Paul can't believe his luck. They say a fool and his money are easily parted, and this guy's just giving it away. He ups the bet by another $20. Ready? Ready. That cost me extra because we got them both. Actually, double. <laughs> Pass that over here. So Paul rolls the notes up and clips them together in a tube. He then balances the blue ball on top so it's touching the notes. The cue ball strikes the tube of notes, then follows through to pot the green. Miraculously, the blue ball follows the green into the pocket. Good Congratulations. All you got to do is practice that, you make a lot of money.